We are now. We are now. Wonderful. We're flying by the seat of our pants this morning, people. We're going to talk about what's going on. Uh, how was everybody's week? Anyway, uh, we had a great Christmas party last weekend, so I want to thank everybody who came out for that. I miss Santa, of course. Apparently, he was like the coolest Santa ever. Everybody was like, uh, wow, that was a cool Santa. Anyway, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, thank you everybody who came out. Um, it was really packed down here. Take a shot of the showroom, Char. There's a quick little shot. Oh, we got a new uh, a new couch for everybody to sit and wait while they're... Uh, it, it's... Morning, Mikey. Morning, Mikey. Morning, it's winter now, so come on in for a nap if you want. So, boys are all working, but... Like I said, uh, last week it was just jammed wall to wall. Lots of people in here. Um, everybody seemed to have a great time. Go check out the pictures on Facebook. They were all with, uh, they weren't our regular pictures. They were all with Santa, uh, which were great. Thank you, Jasmine, for coming to bail us out because unfortunately, Stuart, our regular photographer, was uh, a little under the weather, but hopefully he's all feeling better now. A little under the weather with COVID. <laughs> so so he couldn't make it that would have been a great Christmas party hey he came to our Christmas party everybody got a free gift that keeps giving so um, but yeah no, that was a lot of fun thank you Eva the Elf for helping as well too and uh, where are you watching from today where are you riding say hello everybody saying good morning good morning good morning good morning Jim Mike perfect Rick awesome so we figured today, let's go for a little wander around the shop. Oh, Kenny's here as well too, so uh, we'll go through a little wander through the good shop. Good morning, Kenny. We've got, uh, good morning, sir. Aww. Oh, there you go. Thanks, I needed that. I needed that. Y'all ready for the Christmas party tonight, Kenny? Yeah. You got your giver yeah. liver on? Yeah. <laughs> giver liver. Got our staff, uh, our staff little get together tonight, so celebrating the best staff in the motorcycle business. Uh... Nobody on here is going to dispute that. I know that. So, um, but uh, anyway, like I said, we're uh, we're just kind of. Char and I were actually on the road for the last couple of days. We had to uh, we had to take a couple of bikes. We had to deliver some zeros to some dealers in Montreal, and now I know what they mean by Montreal traffic. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I can't believe it. Like, and it wasn't even even when the traffic was good, it was terrible. Like, who designed those roads there? So well, but doesn't help that us country bumpkins decided no. to drive through the middle of Montreal at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That was fun. Like, what were we thinking? The GPS said we were 20 minutes away for about an hour. It was awesome. Uh, so, well, it was fun. The most traffic we get is, you know, like behind a school bus here in the country. Yes. So, exactly. Now we know. Exactly. So, no, it was good. So, anyway, Sherbrooke was absolutely beautiful. They got some snow there. So, uh, I can see us doing some riding there this way. Oh, yeah, Sherbrooke was pretty. was awesome. So let's go in and have a look in the back. We'll watch Tennyson get here. Um, but Trevor's back here, I'm sure. There's Ron. Ron, how are you, buddy? One of our best customers. He drives by about six, seven motorcycle dealerships just to get his oil changed here. So we really appreciate Ron. I'm sure Ron's on watching somewhere. So thank you, Ron. Um... Glenn just got his new bike, and of course he had to take it right from the dealer he bought it from to here to make sure that it got all dialed, dialed up. So What's Ron getting done? Ron's getting a uh, stator or an alternator or something. <laughs> oh, and also, everybody, Joe, also known as Mr. October coming up, he just got his new 124 installed. That's, uh, that's a fun little uh, winter project that got done, so. <laughs> I like his shifter. The shifter's awesome, huh? I'm the not gonna, shifter. I'm not going to show everybody that. Why not? It's a foot shifter now. Well, it's all fun. <laughs> oh, and there's Trevor, of course. Trevor, how are you this morning? Uh, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. I was going to say, that's what we get today. <laughs> good morning! Okay. Everybody loves the Trev. And there's, uh, this is Glenn's bike. This is, uh, we've uh, started to get a lot more into handlebars. Um, if you want to know about handlebars... Trevor, you're the, you're the master on putting, Trevor and Kenny are actually really good at doing handlebars. We never really used to do a whole bunch of them, but now we seem to be doing a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we got it set up really good this year. Of course, uh, this is one of those jobs where it's uh, pretty ideal to do it throughout the winter time when, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want your bike uh, back right away. However, we have been known to pump them out in the summer, uh, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, yeah, this is uh, maybe the third or uh, handlebar job that's uh, been going on on my bench and Kenny's been bumping them out yep. the last couple days so really fun job and uh, 
Glenn, uh, I think he's going to be looking forward to oh, yeah. rocking his bike when it's all set up. Almost uh, got this one uh, in the final stages. Of course, we're going to do a lot of adjusting and stuff to get the bars exactly where Glenn wants them, but um, he's not only going with his higher bars, he's also uh, decided to flip uh, fully over to a braided line for his clutch and uh, for his entire front braking system, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to look really sharp. It's funny what these things look like with no tank and no... Yeah, yeah. Guess right. what bike this is. Guess, yeah. guess what model it guess is. Do model. not uh, yeah, scan anywhere else in the, uh, the bay, but... Uh, yeah. Guess what model. It's kind yeah. of funny. I always say to the guys, I'm like, I'll come back and there'll be a bike going out tomorrow. Or I'll come back and it'll be in this state. And I'll be like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Like, this bike's going out tomorrow. And they're like, don't worry, we'll get it back for... It'll be back in an hour. So, yeah. anyway, it's unbelievable what these guys can do. And uh, and again, it, it's it's they take their time and do it right, you know. And the nice thing, too, about getting handlebars done here... There's no guesswork. You're coming in, you're getting measured up, you're finding out the style. We've got bars with whether you... Morning, Tennyson! Tennyson so was I'm... trying to sneak in, but I there he is. I just said we'll be able to watch <laughs> Tennyson come in this morning. There he is. Look at that. So, um, but whether you want, everybody, these are the Yappy style, or also called meat hooks. Um, we have, we basically carry all sorts of different bars. We actually just signed on with Iron Hold as well, so if you want some really expensive thick bars, we can do those as well. Um, but... Direct specialties, Yaffe Customs, um, the pre-wired kits, whatever you're looking for. The nice thing, too, is is it actually ends up saving you money by just coming in here and getting them fitted. Because how many times have I had people come in and say, I want a 14-inch bar, and then they put them on, and they want I should have went with a 12. Or they get a 16-inch bar, and they go, those are too high, I should have went with a 14. So um, it's a good idea to get them fitted. Uh, that sometimes doesn't even work out. We've had that situation where people are like, I said I wanted them here, but I didn't really want them here. I wanted them here. So uh, after riding for a while. But like I said, the good news is, is it's something the tribe is ready to take care of for let's us. Go, so. Let's put your arms where you want them. Let's go. <laughs> Matter of fact, Charlene's getting a set right there this year too. So Thanks, Trev. Yeah. Thanks, Trev. And this is another um, motorcycle. This is. Let's take the vote on this. This was the swap meet special I was going to sell, as is. Um, so now we're at the point where we're just realizing, okay, you know what? It would have been a great deal for somebody, as is. Obviously, this isn't the tank. This is Glenn's tank. Have a little fun here, we thought. We thought when Glenn came in, we were going to say, hey, we got you a fairing and the whole bit. Sorry, Glenn, we spoiled your surprise. But this is a 2010 Street Glide. It's got 85,000 kilometers on it. Um, it's, it's a really sharp bike, uh, but it is a little tired in the cam chest. So we have to make the decision, do we put it back to stock or do we uh, pimp it out? So we're uh, sort of in the middle of that one right there. Everything else on it is good to go. Uh, the cylinders are really good, showing very little wear. Um, but like I said, we're just at that point where uh, it's going to be a good, you know, basically we can put it back to stock. It's going to be about 13 or we can uh, pimp it out and make it about 15, 16. So we're deciding, uh, we'll be deciding that here, but your votes will count. What should we do? And he says horsepower build. Horsepower build. <laughs> the whole thing is, is these bars though, you got to hold on. We got, we got a few people saying good morning to you, Kenny. Good morning to the good people morning saying to the hello. <laughs> They're my favorite. <laughs> what do you got going on? I'm, uh, funny enough, I'm doing a set of bars. <laughs> This is uh, the third day, day. The third day and the third set of bars in a row. So I did a set of bars on that uh, gray freewheeler yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Those bars are great. Um, I did a set of bars on Townsend's uh, Street Glide, that absolute monster. Those look great. They're stainless steel. Wow. Fantastic looking bars. And uh, right now, I believe this is, this isn't Savage, is it? Mm -hmm. Is this Savage? Yeah. I'm working on bars for Savage. He's got a nice set of custom 16s. Um, very cool, getting the twist grip sensors all stripped down to be able to pull through the bars and everything. And then once that's all done, he's also getting a uh, new rear fender. A uh, It's like a swoop Locker. style, but it's not as drastic. It's clean. It's nice. It looks really, really good. Uh, it's going to be coming off to go to paint soon um yeah a lot, a lot of little cool things happening mm -hmm. lately a lot of a lot of little itty bitty jobs i've done a couple of breathers which has been cool because i don't really ever get to do like nobody ever comes in just for a breather so that's really cool i like doing those those are fun jobs um yeah we're uh getting ready getting prepped we're uh the boys are off to texas on monday mm -hmm. 
Me, Trev, and Zach. That's exciting. So, uh, gonna stay at the La Quinta. La Quinta. Which I'm excited about. That'll be cool. But, uh, yeah, we'll be We doing had to that make the decision. It was either an outdoor pool you couldn't use or an indoor pool you could use. So. I'm glad you went with the indoor pool. <laughs> and the, okay, we're set. We're ready to lock down. That's Gary Alexander has a question. Do I have to drop my back wheel in order to get my rear fender off? Uh, what bike do you have? A Road King. Uh, Road King? Uh, no, you shouldn't have to drop the wheel to get the rear fender off. You will have to take off the bags, the uh, bag supports, um, and some of the rear fender trim. Uh, kind of like this stuff right here. This stuff will have to come off so you'll be able to get to the bolts underneath, but it should just be four bolts. I can show you on this one here. This is a bolt that holds your fender. This is a bolt, and then it's the same on the opposite side. It's just those four, and that holds the bolt to your rear uh, frame struts, and then that should just slide off, slide on. It is easier if you jack the back end of the bike up a little bit so you can kind of rotate the fender around the wheel so you're not scratching paint, but it is 100% doable without having to remove the wheel. But if you want to remove the wheel, also acceptable too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kenny. No in other problem. words, just start undoing bolts until it comes off and then you'll be set. Or just bring it into Kenny and he'll it do it Kenny, for you. He can do it. <laughs> oh, I got you covered, guys. You come see me. Awesome. Um, Where are you going now? I figured, well... Randy Dunford just had a bunch of work done too. He just had new pipes installed. And new pipes, new pipe, breather. New breather. I don't know if you can see over here, but this thing's beautiful. Did a really good job with the SNS breather and the old styles teardrop. I love it when guys are still doing cone chrome. Oh, that's I, nice. Uh, that looks great. I'm, uh, I love the blacked out stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's wonderful. I, everybody's taste is everybody's taste, but I'm finding everybody's taste is getting pretty similar. I want, black, I want a blacked out black Harley. So it's nice when you see a red bike with some chrome on it. Oh, S&S pipes? Turquoise and white bike with some chrome on it. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. So it's fun to see that. It's fun to see that stuff still happening. But there you go. Just a little walk around the shop today. Oh, geez, look at that. Look at, look at action in process. Trevor's like, great, I love it when people watch me. Maybe you could uh, get a few more people showing. There we go. Awesome. And David's Mr. Drain's bike's here for its annual cleaning. Yeah. Annual service and clean. Corey will be polishing that one, I'm sure. So, there we go. A day in the life. Are we, are we missing anything there, Michael? Is anything exciting happening? Any questions, any comments, any concerns that people have? I think we got Gary's covered, and other yep. than that, cool. No, we're good. All right. Well, there we go. Um, we are here this week. Yep. Last day is the sixteenth. Last day is the sixteenth, and then we're going to close for Christmas. Um, so if you guys need anything, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, get little gift ideas. We've got classy chassis hats. We've got new classy chassis stickers in. We've got gift cards. We got some new cool uh, uh, gremlin bells. They got all kinds of neat new gremlin bells. Um, whoosh. There's lots of little stocking stuffer ideas. So motorcycles. You, you want to buy somebody a motorcycle <laughs> for Christmas? Yeah. I don't see why you wouldn't. That'd be the uh, ultimate gift right there. That's the gift that keeps on giving. So, so. we're here Saturday till today till two, and back then we're Tuesday. back on Tuesday. We're here Tuesday to Friday till from nine to five, and then Saturday from nine to two. And then that's it. We're off for Christmas for a couple of weeks. Um, everybody's going to ask about calendars. Calendars, I'm sorry, but we're really behind this year. Just we had a lot of holdups. And um, they are going into press on uh, Monday, I guess. Uh, well, they'll start the process. It does take a couple of weeks. So our fingers are crossed that we're going to get them in before, the, before Christmas. Um, but we will absolutely let everybody know when they're here and Josh and I will come back in have a day People can pick up. We will probably go down to Durham area and deliver some and we'll do whatever we can to get them in everybody's hands before the new year Absolutely, and again, just remember it is a fundraiser for sick kids, too So not only will it keep you in the loop of all the happenings that's going on for classy chassis next year It'll show you all the calendar winners some great photos in there. It's actually it's a really good calendar this year, too uh, Our tardiness is uh, we're a little later than usual, but actually I think this year's calendar is going to be one of the better uh, Better calendars we've had in a lot of years. So mm -hmm. it's, been, uh, it's uh, some new fresh stuff in there yep. um, Looking forward to uh, tonight's 
party with the staff. That'll yep. be really cool. One and party. next weekend we've got uh, the HD Rock. Oh, we've got two parties this week because we've got our uh, mm -hmm. ride and dine dinner night yep. on Thursday. Thursday night. In Ca Camelford? Camelford, yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah, be fun. Wonderful restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Saturday night we'll be uh, at Cermonti's yeah. for the HD Rock Christmas party. So looking forward to seeing everybody there. Cool. All right. Well, hi, Stevie. Hi, Leia. All right, everybody, um, have a great weekend. I hope we didn't miss anything. Anything? Jared, what did we miss? Oh, we didn't say good morning to Jared. There we go. Good morning to everybody in Facebook world. <laughs> morning, Jared. All right. Tom Watts is offering to help deliver calendars when they come in. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Tom. We will let everybody know. Thank you. So... That's it. Bye. Bye.